I am a perfect redstone person. Please let me out of my house. Thank you. You're an observer. You are not the boss of me. This is my house. You must let me into my house when I want to come in. Ah, oh, thank you very much. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Playing with Peafield with me, Peafield, which I'm sure you've gathered by now. How is everyone doing? Welcome to my kitchen. Um, what did we get up to last episode? See, that was easy. I got up that time. Uh, what did we get up to last episode? Well, we built the Moss Factory. Let's go have a look through our amazing spyglass, which we also made last episode. Oh, that never renders in. Render in. I've had such lovely feedback about the building, and I really appreciate it all over the internet, where I post all my stuff on Instagram and YouTube, which, which you're watching. Uh, what else have I got? I got a TikTok. I got a uh, Twitter. I got them all. I just, yeah, everywhere. Reddit. You can find me on Reddit. Uh, that's what I've been doing. Come on, let's go have a look with little white socks here. See, I always use white socks. I'm using him. Oh, there's the lead. I've got him. I've got him. Come on, white socks. Yeah, this hasn't been terraformed yet. Maybe that's something I want to get to today. No, I will get to that today. So I've got a couple of plans for today. Today is all about bees. I want to get bees. I want honey. Well, well, I really... Oh, there's one there. Speaking of the devil, they're not really devilish, are they, bees? They're absolutely lovely and we need to protect them. Um, You can stay there. We need to get bees because I want honey because I want candles. That's something really important I want. And I also want honey blocks. Uh, I can't remember why I want honey blocks. I think I just want candles. That's what I want because they're so pretty. And I I just want to have them. Hello, Mr. Bee. Yeah, this, this episode's all about you guys. I have designed a beautiful beautiful bee cottage which we're going to get to at the end of the episode which i'm going to build um which will also have oh he's still up there isn't he on the church don't do it um which will also have uh some functionality to help me get some bees because i need those honey and i want those candles um so what i've got on my beehive hunt is i've put silk touch on mjolnir Ugh. and i've also got some campfires i think this is all you need to get like silk touch and you put the you put that under the beehive and then you chop it and then you get it right i have to wait till night time each time though don't i which is going to be dangerous so that's why mjolnir will help protect me and i've got my powerful shield as well svalin which apparently is a famous i'm trying to name everything up to famous stuff and apparently svalin is a famous uh shield uh how are you doing here you look full don't you but i think you've only got one bee in you Right, let's go on a beehive hunt. So how many am I up to? I'm up to one, two, three bees. I don't think the first one had a bee in it. How do you tell if it's got a bee in it? I'm not really sure. But I'm up to three bee nests and luckily I've got a flower forest just right next to my house. So it's kind of perfect. I'm just going to wander around and see if I can find some nests and find some more bees. I want to get loads. So I found a nest. Oh, there's a bee over there. I found a nest, but how do I know there's a bee in it or not? How do I know? Can this one not get out for some reason? Hmm. All a waiting game. Oh! Oh no. Right there. Quick. Like that. Smoky, smoky. Bam. Yes. Another one. I've become a bee stalker. I don't know if I like this. I don't know if I like this in my life. Where are you going? You're doing a lovely dance. Oh, you're covered in... Oh, where are you going to go now? Where are you going? You're... I hope I haven't stolen your hive... Oh, this way. We're going this way. I hope I haven't stolen your hive already and you're now lost, desperately trying to find your home. Oh no, here it is. <gasps> Fantastic. Now I'm going to steal your home. Thank you. Okay, one more. One more. This one's a triple. I just saw three bees go into here. I think. I think I did. It's a triple. Okay, go, go. Let's go, go, go. And mine. Yes. All right. Okay. What's that? That's like eight nests and like maybe 11-ish bees. That seems good enough. Oh, that's not good, is it? Is this lag? Oh, ooh, that wasn't good. Okay. I think we've completed our quest to get bees. It's time to breed them, I guess? Hmm, let's find out. So, there's the back of the factory, and if we come along here, I have found a lovely spot where I'm going to build my little cottage. It's sort of at the edge of a flower forest type of place, I think. It's going to come down here. I'm going to have a nice little water bit. Yeah, it's going to be good. Uh, and then in here, I have chaos. I don't know what this place is. I don't know what I... I honestly don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> 
Ah, okay, hi guys. Uh, friendly bees. I can cheer some of these, right? Aha, three. I just need to start making bees nests, right? And then I can start breeding. Oh, I got 15 already. That seems good. Hello, everybody. Let's, uh, let's breed some up. Oh, okay. I need to get all of these full and then start making more. I really don't know what I'm doing. Oh, there's so many bees. I really hope that... Oh, my. I really hope that I don't kill one of these because I really... Or hit one of them by accident. Don't left click. No, don't... Yeah, don't left click. Don't... Just keep that right clicking. Read up the bees. Oh, my. That's a lot of bees. Okay, I have made more campfires. I have made more beehives. Look, beehives, campfire, beehive, campfire. Bee -ba -da 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 -boom. And now I just have to go in here, place them down, and then all the newbies, all the newbies, the newbie newbies, will go into them. Is that right? Uh, let's make some space. I've got seven so far, but I want to make more. Three, four, five, six, seven. I'm just going to go like this. This is not how it's going to look, by the way. I'm going to... Oh, I did it! I hit them! Now I'm so sorry! I'm sorry! No! I ran away. Hello? Oh no, go away. I'm in, tr I'm in trouble enough as it is, guys. Can you leave me alone? I ran away for a bit and I've come back. I ran away crying, actually, because I was like, I don't want to collect all these bees again. And I think they're okay with me again. If you just run away, are they fine? Oh, yeah, we're fine, aren't we, guys? I didn't mean to, I really didn't mean to hit you. I'll be so careful that I don't hit you again, I promise. Okay, let's put these down. Okay, that's good to know. If you just run away, like a coward, they will be fine. Oh, no, 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 don't burn yourself on the... Oh, these bees. Mobs in Minecraft are literally hell. Go away, get out of there. No, stop burning yourself on the... Juice. Why? Ah, uh, I guess that's my fault. Well, I don't know how many bees I'm down to now, but it's not a lot. I have to breed them up again. Who wants to, who's ready for breeding? Is someone still here? Oh, this has been a tragedy. I told you I didn't know what I was doing. I, I, I did say. Uh, okay, there's another one here. Okay, I think I'm just going to hang out for a bit and try and breed up as many bees as I possibly can. And then hopefully everything... Are you stuck up there? Are you stuck, little one? Can you come down? Are you stuck? I don't want to... Oh, he's just going to be stuck there now, isn't he? Because I can't touch him. Because if I try and break that, I'm going to hit that bee. And they're all going to be super angry at me. Oh, what is life? Right, no. No! They're dying. Okay, okay. I need to put some... Oh my god, these guys... I need to put some uh, trapdoors along here to keep them safe. Alright, I'll make some trapdoors. Oh god, okay. Everyone's safe now, right? Everyone's safe. You can't get in there. Maybe you can, but... If you get in there, that's your own fault. You silly bees. So, I was going to do this later, but I decided to just do it now. While I was waiting for the bees to grow and the honey to produ be produced, I decided to go ahead and make my honey cottage. That's what it is, the honey cottage. Um, I've settled it here. Uh, I'm not really sure how I'm going to get into it. I'm not really sure how this land... Next episode is going to be about landscaping. Well, it's going to be at 1.19, but it's also going to be about landscaping. This whole world, <laughs> this whole area, connecting it all together. But landscaping is going to be the key. But yeah, this is my honey cottage. I really like it. I think it's very cute. I've noticed that what's difficult about places like this and trying to make them look cute and cool is that on this scale, it just becomes difficult to add detail. So I've tried to add a lot of detail. I wanted lots of yellow in it to make it sort of honey-esque. And I've got some uh, moss on the roof to give it a bit more sort of like, um, what's the word? Old worldy feel, but it's still not perfect. Um, I, there's something, there's something off. There's something like I feel like I'm missing in my technical skills as a builder to make this look perfect. Maybe too much dark. Maybe it would be better if it was a lighter color. Hmm, not sure, but I still like it though. I think it's really cute. Oddly, I think this house is most cute when you're up close. Look at this. It's so cozy. Coming in here, we've got a little thing. Come inside. I've done the interiors. Oh, look at that. I've got some honey being produced. Lots of spare hives just waiting for bees to go in and put them outside we've got a terrible upstairs this is just a really bad upstairs look at the mixture of blocks in here 
Uh, and so we come down again. We, uh, we've got a little preparation area where we can make some honey and uh, maybe make a little potion or something here. But that's it. Nothing too exciting. But I love these hives out here. I've got to move some bees out here so there's bees living in these hives that then can sort of bring some animated life to this area. But yeah, this is the little bee house, bee cottage, bee cottage. There we go. That's what I'm calling it, the bee cottage. And I think it's really pretty. Um, then we've got um, white socks tied up outside. Right, what's happening in here, though? Oh, don't look at the back. The back isn't good. <laughs> but we're not going to see the back. What's happening in here, though? Uh, yeah, so we've got loads of these set up. We've got loads. We're producing lots of honeycombs. We've got lots of honey being produced. Well, some honey being produced. The next step, though, is to automate this for sure. And what I want to do is I want to stick all of these in a secret lab under the cottage that is going to be producing honey and stuff. So that's the next thing I'm going to get to. This really is the most ugliest be bedroom in Minecraft, isn't it? There's a piece of dirt there. Oh my god, this is awful. I'll have to do something nice up here. There's even a pane of glass. Maybe I'll make it so it's sort of like run down and broken and maybe you put some hay bales up here. Like it's not really a place for sleeping and it actually is a bit disused and left. Maybe. Anyway, what have I been working on? Let's go find out in the basement. Click. Oh, what is all this? Hello there, stuff and things. Here we go. This is the basement and this is the honeybee farms. There's two of them. We've got a honey bottle farm here and a honeycomb farm here. Um, this one's designed by Ian XO4 and this one, which I'll put a link to in the description, and this is sort of a mixture of my own take and pixel riffs, I think. Um, I saw a good one on his channel that I uh, sort of copied. Well, I basically copied the whole thing, but I've added a few bits to myself to make it uh, how I wanted it. Yeah, I've got them. I've got, I imagine, I don't like the walls, by the way. I want to do something else with these walls. I want to make them a bit more interesting, but I don't really have the resources at the moment all the time. So I'm going to leave them for now and just leave them plain. But um, I want to add some more of these, maybe coming down the walls and some pipes and stuff, because I'm going to be coming here a lot, I should imagine. Uh, to make it a bit more interesting. But I wanted them hanging from the ceiling like these colossal machines. And then we've got these paths going up so I can fill... No, this is where I get the bottles from. And this is where I can fill up new bottles and stuff like that. Uh, we've got a path over here where I want a path. There's some stairs so I can turn the farm on and off. Um, and over here, this one is a bit more simple. So I've just got like this structure that keeps this chest up. And this is where everything should end up. All these are full of shears, so that's really good. I don't have enough bottles yet, but this is entirely full of bottles, and, and it, so it should be okay. It should start. Um, so the next thing is I have to get all these bees' nests into the farm, uh, and I'm a little bit worried about it because <laughs> I don't want it to go wrong, and I don't want there to be bees pouring out everywhere. That would really suck. Uh, uh, okay, but I have a little trick. Uh, I have... Uh, something called uh, Tweakaroo, which I highly recommend because Minecraft is so fussy. So what you can do is you press Alt and then you can click like that. Now that B nest should be facing that way into this block. It should be. That's the plan. And I do it again and I click on there. So it doesn't really matter what angle you do. The front of the block, whatever it's considered as the front, is going to click into there. Is this cheating? Maybe. Does this save me a lot of time and stress? Yes. So I'm going to do it because I, I really, really find placing blocks in Minecraft to be one of the most frustrating, annoying things. We need like a wrench or something so we can turn my um, uh, redstone objects around like pistons and, uh, and stuff like that. Because when you get really complicated m machines like this, it's so fiddly to try and place everything. It just becomes really frustrating and sometimes actually impossible without breaking the whole farm. I think I've had that a couple of times where I've been like, how do I place this block? I, I simply can't get into the farm. Right, I've got six more. Let's place these in. So with this one, I need some scaffolding. Oh, I'm so scared about breaking it. Even now, even with this tweaker room mod, I still feel like I'm going to break stuff. With this one, I want it to face forward. So I just put it in the middle. Oh, and the bee came out. Is that okay? No, I got to do this fast. Oh no, I made a, I made a mistake. I made a mistake? Have I made a mistake? Uh-oh. Uh, oh no, don't touch that. Ah, please don't touch that. 
Oh, that's all funny now. Okay. That's fine. It's fine, right? Everything's fine. Everything's fine? Yeah, I think everything's fine. Can you get out? I don't think they can get out the other way. I have to go fast. Um, okay, another bee's nest. Oh, I can't reach it. See? How oh, complicated machines. Uh, up here? Can I jump up here? Ooh, uh, let's just branch along a bit. Go up here. Can I reach? Okay, I should be able to reach now with this and place it like that. And place this one there. No, no, don't get out. Don't get out. Oh. Go in. Go in there. Please go in there. You can work it out. No! <laughs> Mobs in Minecraft. My literal hell. I'll say it again. Okay. I'll have to try and get them back in or breed them. See, this is why I wanted to do this bit on camera because I knew I'd mess up. <laughs> Uh, I should have done this off camera. Um, okay, right. Let's just get the last one in and I will maybe just try and breed them up. They've nudged these out the way, you silly, silly bees. Oh, and they're going to go into these spare hives that I have just lying around. Oh, okay, right. Let's just get this last one in. Do it. Uh, how do I get there, Peafield? How do I get there? See, how do I get to that one? Mm. No, oh, no, oh, no. Uh, I want to go... Oh, here. I can see it from here and go like this and click. Right, none of the others can get out. Oh, apart from this bit. What? How did you get there? Oh, no. Right, okay, yeah, you silly bee. All right, I am gonna, I need some redstone actually. Oh, there's bees everywhere now. Okay, it's fine. I'm gonna breed them up, Uh, the ones in those. There's a bee in my house. Get out of my house. Oh my God. They're just mocking me now, these bees. Right, I need some those. I need some redstone. Uh, let's get those. Let's just get loads of those and we can go down here. And then we can start this bottle farm. So with this one, we've got to place red, ooh, redstone. Repeater. No, wait. Is it this way around or the other way around? The opposite way, right? Yes, it's the opposite way. Ian XO4's video on this is so, so good. And it's so, such a, such a simple farm. It really is really, really simple. And the most complicated thing is getting the bees nest. That's it. Um, I highly recommend it. I will urge anybody who's going to make a bees nest farm to make this one. Uh, a honey bottle farm. Okay, let's open this. Aha! Uh -huh. See, the properly designed one works fine. <laughs> The one I designed, sort of, uh, is a wobbly mess. Oh, dear, oh dear. Okay, let's switch this on. I'll fix that in a bit. Let's switch this on and see what happens. So we've got a repeater. No, uh, what's this called? A, a fade off clock. And then it goes around like this. Aha. Uh -huh. And what's happening is the bottles should be going round through the whole system. Is that right? Is that not right? I don't know what's happening. Oh, they're going up there. Oh, see? Yeah, the bottles are filling up every single bit. They're going to go round and round and round. And so it's a perfect system where it's all closed loop and the bottles will just keep spinning around. And then they'll eventually end up in here once they're full. Although they should be full already, right? No? I broke the wrong thing. Oh, there's a piece of glass in there. Let's get that out. Okay, here we go. Let's, let's just put that there. That's a bit of a waste of redstone. So yeah, this is going to make the item filter. Once this gets to four, they'll start coming in. So it is working. Hooray, we did it. We did it. Look at us, we're geniuses. Okay, the next one, it harvests. Did go. Yes, did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, yeah, with this system, there's always one in there, isn't there? Oh. Yay, there we go. It's working. Look at that. Ah, oh, redstone master that I am. Right, okay, let me fix this thing and try and breed those bees up and then try and get the whole thing working again. But at least we've got the honey farm working. That's the most important thing. We just need to get this honeycomb. Oh, look, it's already working. We've got 18. I'm just gonna leave. It's perfect. It's perfect as it is. Look at that. Well, I forgot as well, one really important thing that we needed honeycomb for is to do the waxing on and off of these things. Um, I've already done a bit of waxing. Wow, 21 already. 
I've already done a bit of waxing. I haven't waxed this one. I might keep it like that. That's a pretty. Um, actually, and there was a nice the uh, what you call uh, over here. I like that. I'm gonna keep that as it is, or maybe one less, like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one. Okay. Right. Awesome. Wait, I think I want some of these to oxidize actually as well. Quick. Uh, wax off. Let's wax that. Let's get maybe just those ones can oxidize. Nice. Okay. Right. Let me fix this farm. Look at this now. I love it. All the hives are starting to fill up with bees. I got. The, I hope you stay there forever. You look great up there. Um, yeah, it's going well. Okay, I fixed the farm. Uh, I forgot that I wanted to add something. This. Uh, just one. Just one painting. I'm supposed to put a painting here. Not that one. This one. No, not that one. This one. Yeah. No, not that one. This one? No. Was it that one? It's the sort of whitey yellow one. No. No. The walls are behind going to break before I find it. No! <laughs> What? What? Why did that happen? What? That was weird, right? That's not supposed to happen. Oh, you know what? I'm going to put a, a nice piece of that there because I did want more of that in the wood. Yeah, that one. That's the one I wanted. Isn't there another one? Anyway, I fixed the farm. I did it. I fixed the farm. Look, it's all nice. There's bees in there now. I think there's loads. Some are still growing up, but there's still loads of bees in. They're going to do their thing. This one, I can't turn off i don't think yeah it's still working there's 24 last time i was in there and this one is not working because i haven't turned it on let's turn it back on a second um click hello yes now it's working uh yeah brilliant i forgot something really important oh i've forgotten the wood something really important that this farm needs as an essential part of this farm oh yeah bees are taking over this house by the way they own this house there's one in the bedroom <laughs> Oh god. An essential part of this house is actually of this machine, sorry, is a bed. I really, really need to have a bed. So let's put a yellow bed in there because that looks pretty. Ooh, I want a sign as well. Have I got any wood? Is that good? Have I got any lighter wood? I do have that. I just you, you just saw me have lighter wood. Let's get some birch. Let's put a bed down here. Uh because obviously the, the farm doesn't really work at night because obviously they go to bed. Uh where should we put this? Uh, we come down, let's say we're going to put it just nice bed. And then we'll do a little fancy bed thing like that and like that. Just to make it, it's not just a silly bed, but an essential part of the farm. Always oh, need a clock as well, don't I? I'll get one later. But yeah, look, this is going really, really well. And I realise one of the most important things we can do now is that we can finally finish the moss farm. Okay, as the night draws in, we're going to go back to the moss farm. You can go there, sir. Well done. And here we are inside. Oh, my God. I might have to put Enderman griefing off because it's getting ridiculous. It's getting really bad. Like, I, I haven't played with Enderman griefing on in a very, very long time. And I forgot how terrible it actually is because they're just insane with the amount of stuff that they do but anyway let's turn this farm on just as we're doing it and then we're gonna whack some of these bits so not all the way some all the way some not um because i really didn't want it this color i wanted it more like this let's get it like this oh there's so many to wax oh no am i gonna have enough oh, uh honeycombs to do all this um yeah enderman why what's the point of that feature in this game what what does it solve what does it do is it just to add some like life to the game where like enderman suddenly are like leaving your blocks everywhere i don't know it really annoys me um i found entire ca oh it's getting dark i found entire caves of their block it's just it's 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 crazy i'm not really a big fan of it and i think i might turn it off uh, I know I'm trying to play as vanilla as possible. I know I'm doing, losing like matter and stuff, but I'm trying to play as vanilla as, as possible. Um, but yeah, this is just getting ridiculous. Um, okay, as I wax these on. Uh, yeah, so my next episode, uh, I'm going to get to the landscaping because I didn't do that today and I really want to. Um, but the next episode is going to be all about 1.19 because as I record this, it's just come out. But um, I had to record something else for, uh, uh, what's it called? 
The Featherfall SMP, I have to record the last episode of that, which came out last Friday, and this is coming out the Friday after that, which would be, I don't know what day it is. Anyway, you have the videos now, <laughs> you're watching it right now, it doesn't matter. But I had to record that for that episode. Um, so yeah, I haven't got a chance to play with any of the 1.19 stuff. This year, I promised myself that I wouldn't look at anything. I, I haven't seen any snapshots. I haven't even looked at the deep dark. So next episode, I want to do all of that and have an explore. But something, of course, I'm really excited about as a builder is the mud bricks. I haven't actually looked at them at all, and I'm fascinated to see how good they are. Okay, I ran out of honeycomb. That's annoying. But yeah, that already looks much better than it was. Or does it? It does, right? Less candy stripe. Mm, I'm not really sure. But uh, yes, yeah, so the next episode, we are going to focus on the 1.19 uh, update and the deep dark and getting mud. Yeah, sorry, the blocks. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. The blocks, especially the mud blocks. I think I want to use the mud blocks in both their forms for paving. I think paving, paving, paving. Paving. I'm so posh, aren't I? Paving. Paving. I want to use it for paving um, around here. And that's what I'm going to use for my paving, I think, because it looks really good. I haven't tested this. I don't know what it will look like, so I might renege on all this. But yeah, next episode is going to be 1.19 stuff and doing lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of terraforming because this place is starting to look a bit rubbish with all these nice builds and all this rubbish pass around it and odd cliffs and especially... Oh, don't even look over there. Right. Thank you so much for watching as always. It's been a pleasure and thank you for all the great feedback. Leave a comment. Uh, I'm going to say it. Like and subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I hate saying that sort of stuff. But yeah, please do like and subscribe. It's always good to know if people are liking the content, which people seem to be. All right. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.